uh, Music and Moments uh, Community Arts Group, uh, founded in 2005. We've been doing quite a lot of stuff, um, but we don't particularly shout about what the organisation is. Um, but I'll read this out because our mission is to present music which is outside of most people's listening experience at an affordable price, usually free, so that people have a chance to experience a much wider spectrum of musical experiences. Um, and it kind of gets rid of uh, that phrase I really dislike from people, I know what I like, because the first time they heard they knew what they like, they didn't know they liked it. So unless you hear something new, how on earth are you going to make a valid judgment? And that's what we're trying to do. Um, as a result of what we've been doing, we, we do actually, as, as Monmouth, it has an international reputation and we've hosted many events uh, with renowned players from the USA, Sweden, Norway, Australia, Spain, Switzerland, Faroe Islands, Germany, Ireland and the UK. And for many, uh, as a town, we're, we're um, often a must-play uh, play, place for leading players for avant-garde and experimental music. Um, it's off the radar. But it, it's unusual, um, and because it's a minority taste, there are certain little pockets around the country, and Monmouth is definitely one of those. Um, we generally use the Queen's Head Inn as a venue, <coughs> excuse me, um, but not exclusively. We, we do things other places. Um, but since 2005, approximately, we've done one a month uh, for the past 14 years, and these are world class uh, or national class bands doing something different, not your normal stuff. I know uh, there's a general belief that uh, we put jazz gigs on, and yes we do, we do quite a lot, but we do also put a lot of experimental and new and different music, which defines, uh, defies uh, uh, normal labels, so we're, we're trying to do something different. Um, we've also put major events on, like uh, the Billy Jenkins Big Fight, if anybody remembers that in the Blake, all those years ago, England versus Wales, three musicians in each team in a boxing ring, and you get in there and improvise the teacher. What a fight! What a fight! And um, we have a great contingent from Grossmont, and we, we put various things on at the, uh, the gorgeous nave in Grossmont. Uh, that's been part of music in Monmouth. Um, so, why are we doing this tonight? Well, um, we all know about Monmouth Festival. Um, and sadly this year it, it, it was kind of a non-event and because we have, as music in Monmouth, we have this remit of um, trying to bring something different to the community, we thought how can we bind the community together because there's an awful lot of people not involved with the festival, but there's choirs, there's schools, there's theatre groups, there's individuals who might want to do something different, there's people who know what we do and we thought how can we within our remit, combine all those groups together uh, and get a kind of a community spirit, but by doing something new and unusual. And so, here we go, here we are. Um, so hopefully what we're doing tonight is, is achieving that target of, of binding the community together. I know, I know lots of people have travelled from um, uh, various places uh, to come together and, and, and come in this unifying experience. And it's, it's, it's very much in keeping with uh, with what Cardi was in, intending, he was, a, he was very much a unifying musician. Um, so uh, here's a bit of an appeal. Uh, I know a lot of you have donated to uh, Music in Monmouth. Uh, Music in Monmouth is, is uh, certainly non -for, not for profit. It's operated and funded completely by uh, volunteers. Um, but the real big deal is that uh, musicians these days really get paid from live performance. Um, uh, royalties that you hear about don't really happen that much these days. Um, huh? <laughs> See, I, I did a recording uh, 18 months ago, I think, or well, two years ago, and it was the, in the Amazon Top 100. It must have been two years ago because we moved house. And I thought, oh, we're moving house, I could do with the extra cash. I was in the Amazon Top 100 for six weeks, and I called it in, £2.14. <laughs> <laughs> Big time. <clears throat> so anyway, um, thank you for the people who have donated. If, if you really believe in what we're doing, there's, there's plenty of receptacles around if you'd like to support us a little bit more, and we'd very, be very grateful. Um, 
So anyway, uh, I'll hand you now on to uh, Caractacus, who is also uh, yeah, an executive in music in Monmouth, to introduce Mr. Ashley John Wong. Great.